gorgeous souls and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me for another one of my videos and of course this is the second out of two videos this week because we're back to two videos a week, hell yes. So today is an exciting video because I am so pumped to show you my new office. So it's still in my house, um, the location hasn't moved but after like literally five years of living in this house, can you believe, um, and also um, five years of the same decor, this year slash the end of last year, I was like, I'm done. I need a new layout, I want new energy for 2022. The decor doesn't reflect my vibe, it doesn't reflect the rest of the house anymore. Like my interior design and decor styles and tastes have changed. So it's more than due, it's sparkly redo. So you may have seen some changes anyway in the background because obviously everything's different apart from this, this, this and the Mac, but all of this is different. The chair I'm sat on, to the right where my desk drawers are, everything's changed. So I'm really excited to show you what I've been working on over the last few months because interior design is a massive love of mine. Um, it's something that I've really come into and really have loved and thrived on doing in the last few years. So as you would have seen on my Instagram over the last few years and on my spiritual home Instagram as well, which is at the spiritual home underscore, you would have seen me um, redoing rooms in my house, um, creating massive photo walls, um, or artwork walls. Um, I've changed a lot in my house and it's gone from a house that I was just like, oh yeah, I've moved in with that furniture from my last place or oh yeah, like to, no, this is what I want. And I think I resisted doing this for so long because I never saw this as a house that I was gonna stay in for more than a year. I honestly thought I was gonna be moved out within a year and the universe was like, no, Emma, five years later, here I am. And I love this house, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love this house. Luna loves this as her home as well. And the right house will come along at the right time, definitely, when I'm in the right stage of my life to, and want to move as well. So I think when I realized this and was like, actually, I love this house and I do want to stay in this house and I'm really comfortable and happy here. I think that's when I felt like I wanted to invest money and I wanted to spend money to updo furniture and change things and actually spend money because I think I was so resistant because I was like, well, what was if it doesn't suit that new house? What was if it doesn't suit this? But as we know with manifestation, you know, we can't hold off things until things happen or we can't, you know, like deprive ourselves of the stuff we want because, oh, well, I'll move soon or, oh, this will happen. And as I'm proof, that doesn't always happen. So, um, you know, I thought, no, I am gonna embrace this house. I am gonna embrace all the things I want in my home now because why not? I'm living life now. Like I want to enjoy my home. I want to have nice things in there and I want it to feel and represent who I am here and now and represent my interior style and you know, love of stuff as well. So that's what spurred me on and I've changed my bedroom. I've changed the living room. I've changed the landing here upstairs. You would all seen it on my home account. So I've been busy, I've been busy, but the office was the latest updo um, and I'm really freaking proud of it if I do say so myself because I really took the time to get the things I wanted. I took the time to research properly and to be honest, it was done on a budget too, which is great because ex coupon queen here is always gonna love things that are not costing the earth as well. So um, I didn't have a particular budget in mind. Like it's not like I said, right, I have to do it for under this amount. But for me, it was great because I was like, well, actually like this is not cost me an arm and a leg. And this is great because I have what I want to. Um, and it's a whole new vibe. And I do, as I've said before in videos, I do really believe that our homes place so much impact on ourselves, our moods and our manifestations as well because we spend so much time in them. And obviously over COVID, over lockdown, we, you know, we've spent more time than ever in our homes. And I think that's why people have taken the time to, you know, invest in their homes. They've taken the time to redecorate. They've taken the time to really make their home, like the house is a home essentially. And I think the reason why I've done this and so many people is, is because now we're spending more time in our homes. It's become more important that that energy and that space also reflects those positive vibes that we want, the alignment that we want. And I truly, truly believe in Feng Shui. I truly believe in that our homes have their own energy and all sorts, you know, from choosing furniture, color schemes, colors are so important with the energy of manifestation as well. So I choose color schemes and things. So there's, there's a green plant there because green is the energy of wealth and money. So 
yeah, I want that next to my office, my desk where I work all day. Yeah, I want that in my YouTube videos. Yeah, I want that in the background of every video that I've, you know, that I post because I always have this background. And gold is another great color of money. And again, I'm not just choosing things for money. Let me just be clear here. There's pink for self-love. Um, I used to have a pink picture up here as well, but we've gone to beige. So the beiges and neutrals, I feel so drawn to anyway, but that is really grounding, grounding into mother earth, balancing, connecting. So there's some great energy with beige and neutrals as well. And I've learned all of this from Dougal Fraser, who came on the podcast very recently. You can see the video here on YouTube as well. Um, and he talked all about the energy of colors um, and why we feel drawn to certain colors. And actually I learned so much from this podcast. So I truly believe in the power of color. I believe that the energies and colors that we choose for things influence our energy, influence our manifestations and our spiritual practices. And I think it's important to go to the colors that we feel drawn to um, and create the space with furniture, which also feels good because, you know, if you have a big clunky sofa in your living room and you're like, oh, that is like just feeling so heavy in this space. It's taking up so much room. I hate when I look at it that energetically is gonna be blocking you. You want flow in every single room. Now, I'm gonna be talking about this way more in the future and way more in depth. So I will be doing videos on the home, what colors we should be using or what colors mean what, items of furniture that enhance things, things you should have in different corners of your home, things you shouldn't have, things like that. But essentially this has become a long winded video of here's my office, but also here's some information about my office. And here's some information about manifestation in the home too. So for me, the home is a massively important part of my life because I work here and I live here. So it's got to feel good. It's got to feel right. And the energy needs to feel right. And I just feel the energy of my previous office just didn't always feel great anymore. I feel like I'd up leveled, I'd outgrown it. I'd sort of like wanted and liked different styles, color schemes by that point. So it just felt cluttery. And it definitely felt cluttery in this office with paper everywhere. And as much as my drawers are organized, as much as I am a big fan of Marie Kondo and the home edit, um, definitely the surfaces of the desk and the drawers were not a vibe. Whereas now they are clean, there is space. And as you'll probably guess, I love minimalism. I love neutral colors, I love monochrome, and I love gold. So that's been the theme throughout my house. That's been the theme throughout the upstairs of the house primarily as well. So I have more silvers and grays and pinks downstairs because that matches the kitchen, whereas upstairs I have more neutrals, monochrome, and gold. So it's been a big upheaval of building a new desk, getting a new chair, I mean, I love this stuff, I thrive for this stuff. Flat pack is a love language of mine. So I love doing this um, and I love showing you why I do those things as well of like why I've picked that or what I feel that invokes by having that in a space. Um, so I hope you're gonna enjoy my little show and tell um, and hopefully it gives you some inspiration because I love watching stuff like this myself for inspiration and ideas of where people get stuff from um, and obviously everything's pretty much on a budget anyway, like it's budget friendly. So H&M, Wayfair, Ikea, um, I'll put, I'll obviously say where everything's from. So everything is not eye watering, which is great. I'm here for it. So I've really loved creating this. I've really loved bringing this energy in. And since having this new space, it absolutely has inspired so much inspiration. I would sit in other areas of the home normally when I would be just working on admin on my laptop. Now I wanna work here. I wanna work here all day. Um, obviously I get up and exercise and have a life as well, but I do love sitting at this desk. It motivates me more. It's triggered so much inspiration and creativity with the new shop that is coming very, very soon. All of my merchandise is having a much needed glow up and, um, enhancement for 2022. So I feel like the office has enhanced all of this. It's allowed me to step up into the creativity that I wanna do. I feel that it's allowed me to love this space more and want to be in this space more. It's pretty to look at and that's enough for me. Um, so I hope you're gonna love everything I've got to show you. Um, and obviously any questions, put them in the, que in the, sorry, in the comments below um, and I'm gonna label everything and where I've got it from as well. But who else has felt the nudge, the inkling to update their homes recently, let me know in the comments. Um, and yeah, I hope you're gonna enjoy this. So I love my new desk because it's just brightened up the space so much and invited in so much more light and brightness than the wooden desk I had before. 
and also the features on top of the desk I just feel there's so much more flow now more minimalism and I've brought in those gold tones as well which feels so much better to me and it feels so much more organized as well who is in love with this chair? I absolutely love this chair. I'm, it's so comfortable and I'm so glad that I've got it. And of course the Copper Moon shelf is staying. It's one of my favorites. You guys love it too. So there's no way I'm getting rid of that. And I've also changed the photo above my computer as well to a more neutral vibe so that there's more balance and grounding energy coming in. And look at this neon sign, my favorite. I'm so glad I have this. Um, it's so beautiful to look at and switch on every day. And again, just the top of this surface feels so much more flowing now and energetically cleaner and brighter and this space just feels so much better now so thank you so much guys for watching i really hope you've enjoyed this i really appreciate your views and likes don't forget to subscribe if you're new here because i would love love to see you again soon don't forget you can leave me a comment in the comments box below because i reply to them all and don't forget to join my free law of attraction support group over on facebook where you can join myself and other like-minded souls where i talk all things law of attraction and spirituality i hope you have a great week whatever you're up to and i'll see you all in my next video which will be next week lots of love